the crowd, they're moving, grooving. During the Civil War, a Confederate doctor by the name of J.F. Zacharias began a radical new procedure on his racist compatriots. As men returned to camp with blown off legs and arms, Zacharias stopped doing his job. That's right, Zacharias simply stopped cleaning men's wounds and introduced maggots into the dead tissue. And somehow, it helped them. The rate of survival went up drastically, as this particular species of maggot did not consume normal or even healing tissue. They only ate and therefore removed the necrotic material, and so a new medical procedure was born. Of course, this wasn't the first time maggot therapy was done on a patient. Maggots have been used as folk medicine for centuries. There are plenty of documented records praising the healing effects of baby blowflies, from the Mayans to the Australian Aborigines to the general surgeon of Napoleon who used maggots on the French army as they literally took over the planet.